Good afternoon and welcome to the third webinar in a series of webinars hosted by Advantage Business Systems in partnership with Microsoft Dynamics, introducing cash flow forecasting for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013. We do hope you'll join us for some of the other webinars we have, but today we're going to concentrate on cash flow. Cash flow is in, was introduced with Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 as a new feature, and we're very excited to be able to introduce this um, as part of the package. As you can see, in my role center for accounting manager, I have a predefined cash flow report that I can view, and you can choose whether you want to view this in your role center or not by going through the cash flow setups. There are a few setups we need to define before we can get a report out that makes sense to us in terms of our cash flow. These are things like the chart of accounts for the cash flow, which can also mirror your chart of accounts for your GL. Things like capturing of manual revenues and manual expenses, those revenues and expenses that may not necessarily have hit your GL already, but are up and coming in the future. And of course, we also need to make sure that we capture the relevant information. In order to search for our cash flow chart of accounts and relevant setups, I'm going to type cash flow into my search option. As you can see, it filters as I type, and I'm going to select my menu option for departments and financial management. Here we can see that cash flow has been given its own menu. The cash flow setups are very nicely laid out for us in order of importance. So first we'd need to determine a cash flow forecast, make sure we set up a cash flow chart of accounts for it, and ensure that we've recorded the cash flow manual revenues and expenses that could be posted through before we continue with capturing our cash flow in a cash flow worksheet. Let's take a look at cash flow forecasts. You can have as many cash flow forecasts as you would like. It is simply a case of creating a new cash flow forecast. Let's take a look at one that already exists in the system. I can already see that there has been some movement in our cash flow. I've got receivables, sales orders, manual revenues, payables, and also manual expenses as well as the ability to look at my liquid funds that are available at a particular date. At any point in time, you can also drill into the cash flow entries and see exactly what it's, your cash flow forecast is made up of. These cash flow entries all have a very particular reference and will reference back to the original source type available. Let's go back one and take a look at our cash flow chart of accounts. This is where we reference the GL accounts that are relevant to cash flow, as well as referencing any sort of source type that is relevant. As you can see, the cash flow can be indented. We can hold begin totals and end totals, as well as cash flow entries. At any point in time, we can drill into those amounts and see what those entries are made up of. It is up to you as to how you wish to compile your cash flow chart of accounts. As you can see here, you can reference your GL accounts. So you could group a set of GL accounts into one cash flow account. Once you've determined your cash flow chart of accounts and where your cash flow will post to, you can then determine your manual expenses and manual revenues. Let's take a look at the manual revenues. Manual revenues could be anything such as rent, any financial assets, or any private investments that you know are up and coming. You can choose a start date and ending date, as well as a recurring frequency. This is a soft setup that the user can put in. In this case, we can see that there's a manual revenue posting to cash flow account 0030 for rent. This is relevant for the period of the 1st of January 2014 to the 31st of December 2014 and occurs monthly. 
the monthly cost will be 2,900. You are not limited to the number of manual revenues that you wish to enter. This also applies to manual expenses. Again, there are no limitations to the number of entries that you can put in. You can choose things like personnel costs, running costs, finance costs, and again, choose the recurring frequency and amount that is relevant. So, how do we populate a cash flow worksheet? Indeed, we don't want to be typing in all of the cash flow entries that we suspect are up and coming. One of the better ways to do it would be a suggestion of worksheet lines. Or as, let's click on Suggest Worksheet Lines. As we can see, we have the ability to choose from our set of cash flow forecasts. So you could run a cash flow worksheet for any combination of cash flow forecasts that you have. For this purpose, let's include everything. You can see here that you can also do a GL budget comparison. So we could bring in any sort of entries from our GL budgets into the future. Once you're happy with the entries that you've selected, you can click OK. The system will now go through all of the entries that are relevant in your GL accounts, those entries in manual revenues and expenses, and it will populate the cash flow worksheet. As we can see here, the source type is divided between liquid funds, receivables, payables, and also any cash flow manual expenses or revenues. If you wish, you could take this out to Excel by clicking one button. It's important here to note that all of the reports within Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2013 can be printed out to Excel. I can now choose to edit my cash flow forecast. I can view my receivables and say, this entry is one that I do not want to appear in my cash flow forecast at this moment in time. I can choose to delete that line. This does not mean that it is deleted out the system. It is just simply deleted from my cash flow worksheet. I can also choose to view my payables. And I could say that these entries here are ones that I do not want to appear in my cash flow forecast. Once again, I'm able to delete these. In this way, you can specifically choose which of the entries you want to appear in your cash flow forecast. Once you are happy, you can register these. Click yes to continue. As you can see, the system really turned that round quite quickly. Click OK. You'll see that the cash flow worksheet is cleared, ready to run the worksheet lines again whenever necessary. I'm going to click OK to close this. Let's take a look at what has happened in our home screen. The home screen will now review and update the cash flow report that is shown here. I can choose to show the report in different ways. I could look at the accumulated cash. Well, it seems that 2014 is going to be a good year for us. I could look at the change in cash or I could view a combined view. I can also choose how I wish to group my entries. Let's group them by positive and negative, and we can immediately see that October 2014 definitely looks like a good month. We've got 569,100 incoming, and only 220,000 outgoing. Let's change this round and view by source type. Here we're able to see the difference between sales orders, service orders, any cash flow manual revenue, and cash flow manual expenses that have been posted through. We can also view any of the purchase orders or any of the data by clicking on the relevant section of the chart. This takes us to the entries that make up that entry. Once again, we can export these out to Excel if needed. We can also view the dimensions that are posted against these so we can further analyze what our cash flow looks like at any point in time. 
There is reports and analysis that we can carry out on our cash flow. Let's have a look at our account schedules. For those of you who are familiar with working with account schedules in standard Microsoft Dynamics NAV, you will find that this is no different. We'll choose an account schedule name. I'm going to go for my cash flow one that I've set up previously, and I'm going to view this by my cash flow column layout. I've chosen to view a date filter over quite a period of time, the 1st of January 2013, up till the end of December 2014. If necessary, you can fill out any of the department filters and other dimension filters as you wish. I'm going to leave them blank at this point in time and preview this report. What we can see here is a display of the account schedule and all of the filters that have been applied. If I scroll down to the bottom of this report, I can see the total cash disbursements, the surplus, cash flow funds and the total cash flow available according to the amount, the amount until date and for the entire fiscal year. This is an easy way to view cash flow entries and totals in a quick and efficient manner. I do hope that you've enjoyed today's brief overview of cash flow and that it will benefit you in your own business. Thank you very much for your time. I do hope that you will join us for more of our webinars.